Bonsoir guys, so we've had the minis but now, now it's time for the main event, the hot hatch and I am excited for this one. So across the two comp categories either, the hot hatch or the mini, the hot hatch has actually been pretty much my most consistent and my best performance category. Now granted there isn't as many people running the hot hatch, so that probably is the reason why I'm doing quite well in it. But the car itself, I'm enjoying driving it. It's, I'm still running the carbon my day, but none of that's changed. It's still a, a right pleasure to drive and combined at the minute with the Satan 20 that's in it, it is a flying machine. I really feel as though it's going well and where I think the the Mini would be overpowered with all that and all I'd be doing is trying to hang on to it. With this, you st I still feel as though I can drive it well. Anyway, how did today go? Qualifying went okay, and by okay I mean it went really, really well and I ended up in pole position for the A final. Let's see how, let's see how we get on with that. So lining up for the Hot Rod A final. First leg, we've got Bren Furbrother on pole. We've got Mark Hepworth in second place, followed by Andy Lodwick, followed by Josh, Josh Anderson, followed by Sean Williams. So, let's see how we get on. No pressure. Right, we're off. Ooh, bit of a shaky start and a slow start for me, which puts Mark all over me straight away. Oh, and he's up the inside, a bit of a door bash, and, yep, yeah, he's thrown away there. Leaves me in third with Josh breathing down my neck, so I've got to do myself to comport, do my best to compose myself now and get after first and second. Car was handling great all day. In fairness, the lap times from all of the hot hatches were really, really close. I don't think there was more than half a second between any of us, really. So this is this. Although I qualified on pole, it really could be anyone's race. So Mark's doing his best to check out there from Andy. Oh no, I think Andy's still in the lead and Mark's in second place. I think that's right. Or has Andy had a problem? I think Andy might have had a problem, so I'm up into second. Mark's coming up to Sean now, so there could be some snafus coming. Yep, Sean's slowed him as he was passing him. Oh, thanks, Sean. Got right out of the way for me there. Give me a chance to set off after our mark. Snafu Senior. This car has been rapid all day. Oh, he's had a bit of a problem there, so I've capitalised and that's put me into the lead. That's a good do. I'll do my best to try to pull away from him now, but he's fast. Definitely fast. The car had so much grip, I, was, I, I think I was actually on two wheels then coming around that little herping. This herping here. Oh, Josh has had a problem and Mark stuffed it into the wall there as well, so gives me a little bit of breathing space. Coming up on Andy Lodwick, so he, he definitely had... Oh, and I've had a problem. He must have had an issue, Andy, so... In a few minutes I might be coming up to lap him, but... That's making the assumption I can catch him. Definitely up on two wheels then. Now that, oh, that was a snafu, but at the same time at the bottom of the screen, Mark had a problem as well. So I didn't really lose any time there. And when I were looking at the car in between this heat and the next heat, what I, was, what I found was the rear damper. It was sticking. It should be a nice smooth action going up and down, and it wasn't. It, 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 kept sticking so I'm gonna I'm gonna put that as the the reason the car looked at looked like it had loads of grip 
So I think as the rear was compressing, it should come back up, but it wasn't, and that was lifting the inside wheel. Sounds like I know what I'm talking about, but it's flying now, yeah? Seems to be putting a bit of a brake on everybody. So far, so good, Bren. This is one of those six minute finals now that I really wish was about three and a half minutes long. Oh, Mark's definitely had a problem. So that's me now technically coming up to lap Mark and Andy and them two have come together so I've sneaked up the middle of the both of them. So I've not really had to fight to go past or anything. It's, uh, yeah. Maybe today's the day the RC gods are aligning in my favour. Don't count your chickens too soon, Bren. As again it wants to come round. Mm, couple of snafus there, scruffy racing. Come on, Bren. Pull yourself together. Andy's had another problem there. Right, I give him a, a, a tap of encouragement. Sorry about that, Andy. I know I was lapping you, but even so, I should, I should really have gone round rather than through you. <laughs> Ooh, Andy had a bit of a roll there. See, it's still cocking that front wheel on the inside. Feels as though there's a strip down and this must be a problem that's about to happen. Ooh, ran that very wide. Look at, yeah, it's just completely off the ground. Impressive to watch, but I was panicking that it just start grip rolling. In fact, to be honest, it, it it's a bit of a surprise that it hasn't been grip rolling. Thanks, Josh. solid laps now I've obviously learnt to start just driving around the problem so oh Sean's had a bit of issue so I've took a lap off him still cocking a leg might be too far from the end of the race now That's it. Oh, just had a bit of a coming together on the final couple of metres. And that's it. I'll take that. Convincing win. I was really pleased with that. Pleased with how I drove. Pleased with how the car handled. Although, although it was a bit grippy. Yeah. That sets me up for a, sets me up for a good uh, second leg. So that went well. Really pleased with that. I mean, you know, first place and the stuff to lap into everybody. Yeah. Couldn't be happier with that. Um, I'm not going to lie. By the end of the race, my hand on the... I, I, I was. I think I was struggling to hold the controller. I was shaking that much. And, you know, the adrenaline had really kicked in at this point. And, uh, yeah, really, I was over the moon. A2 have kept it together. And the RC gods look, look as though they're smiling on me for that. So, happy days. So although that final has gone really well, you've got to remember that the second leg of that final is a reverse grid staggered start. It's all to play for now and an awful lot of hard work because the times between everybody, as I've said, if everybody's on it, there isn't much in it at all. So I've got a lot of hard work to do in this final. Let's see how we get on. So the second leg, remember you've got your, it's the result of your first leg, but in reverse. So we've got, Josh Anderson on pole, Andy Lodwick behind him, then Sean Williams, Mark Hepworth, and yours truly. So the big question is, can I do a repeat performance? Let's have a look. Reasonably quickly up to Mark, but cocking wheels again. Oh, and now 
I can start making excuses that set up on the car or it could be anything really but yeah so that has me a lap down behind Sean definitely an uphill battle now um, yeah but it's a long final oh and another snafu so quickly it is not going well So we're still in last place with an awful lot of work to do. Now the problem is, how hard do I try and will I start overdriving the car? It's funny, only watching the replays I can see that I'm getting um, frustrated. So it's definitely part of the mental game You've got to, I've got to work on on my own racing. So Mark's definitely closing in on me now. He's, he's about to put a lap on me. Oh, just caught that barrier there. That might put Mark right level with me. So as he accelerates down the straight, I've got track position, but he is lapping me. So there's an argument there that I should have eased off and let him go. But anyway, I didn't. And it looks like I've got the legs to stay in front of him so far. So let's keep doing that. Really well matched myself and Mark for, for this event. Both cars were, were well and truly on it. And Mark was definitely on the pace. Certainly not breaking away from him. Just goes to show you racing line there. I, I put two good corners together and pulled out about six metres on him. And then I made a mess of a corner and he were right back with me. Good corner, yeah. Problem is, every time I do a good corner, Mark's mirroring me. Sometimes it is easier chasing a car. Oh, I see a bad line there, set me up for him to really start to put pressure on. Tell me when. So I asked, it, I asked him there, I said, if you want to come past, let, let me know. Oh, let's see, I've, I've hugged the line there, which put me wide here, left the door wide open. So that's all just about racing line. If my line had been proper there, that wouldn't have happened. And I've got a bit close to him, realised, and I've just eased out the throttle there. Oh, and again, I had to ease out. Come on, so Sorry, buddy. Away. Poor racing from me at this point, that. Definitely the red mist had dropped a little and I were a bit frustrated. So I've got I definitely need to work work on that with my own racing. Remember, keep keep telling yourself, Bren, it's just toy cars, it doesn't matter. Now, interestingly, I was in um, fifth place now because I think Josh had had a couple of issues. Um, and I actually only needed to get in third to take the victory overall because that third place would have put myself and Mark on four points each. But on count back, I'd have got, I'd have got first place because I won the, the first leg A final. So... I didn't know this at the time, but the race was here. I've just gone past Sean to gain my lap back. So it was all, obviously I'm, I know this now because I'm watching back. At the time I didn't, I was just trying to go as fast as I can. But now it was a case of if I can, if I can get back to Sean, which that isn't helping, is it? So Sean's gone back past me to, to reclaim, reclaim the lap that he put on me. So on playback now, I know that I have to get past him and get past him again. And that would um, that would give me the, vic the victory overall for the day. But let's see if I can get past him. So my racing's got a bit better because I think that I've thrown it away already now. So I'm, I'm gaining hand over fist now on Sean. Eased out of that. He, he was offline there. 
So just bide your time, Brendan. The last thing I want to do is take him out. Pressure there. I'm up the inside there. He's out of line there, so I'm through. Through one cut back and away. And the racing guard's again trying to snuff me. Now they're throwing bits of track at me. Now it's a drag race. Sean's out of position. I've got the racing line there and he's just... We just miss. So I don't realise... But I've just regained my lap. Me, I'm, we're now on the same lap. So what I've got to do is get pa past him. And that would give me the overall victory. But it's going to be touch and go if I can do that. So some tidy lines, car's still rapid, no lack of pace, that was a nice line. Oh, just tagged Josh, sorry buddy. Now I'm back, and I'm back up now with Sean, now what I need is an extra minute, but I don't know I need an extra minute if that makes sense. So Sean's in fourth and I'm in fifth, sorry, third. I don't know where I'm at now. All I know is if I'd have gone past Sean, that would have given me that victory. We'd have ended with, but so close, scrappy final. And in fairness, looking back, poor etiquette really from me that. So, yeah. Definitely didn't go to plan and definitely things to learn for the future. Where to start? Where to start with that? The car itself really grippy and felt as though it, 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 it just, there was something not quite right. And as I say, I noticed after the first leg, the rear damper, as, as, as it comes up, it should come back down really nice and smooth and it was sticking. So I had a last minute change of the rear damper with like three minutes left to go before the actual, the car needed to be on track. So I was all flustered with that. Um, and then to be perfectly honest, hand on heart, I just didn't drive that well. And it definitely has highlighted that although I might my driving might be improving and I can do some really good fast lap times, because in the second leg I got fastest 10 laps and fastest lap overall. So there's no lack of speed in the car or from my driving, but mentally and driving with a little bit more thought, I've still got to work on that, I think. Um glaring example is obviously when Mark was catching up to me I think etiquette really should have dictated that I moved out of his way he's the lapping car he's, he's you know he's done well enough to put a lap on me but the red mist descended and I weren't going to let him through not without a fight anyway and uh, really it's a, and it needs a bit my racing needs to mature a little bit so although I'm starting to very much learn how to set the cars up and how to make them go quick and move things around. I think the second part, and which is possibly a bigger part than that, is the mental game and you driving how to drive the car as a racer as opposed to just somebody that's just trying to go fast. Anyway, maybe those maybe maybe those are musings that don't really count, but I, I feel as though that's the next evolution in my racing needs to I need to be a little bit more thoughtful with how I'm doing my racing. Other than that, brilliant day. Congrats, Mark. If I'd have just caught Sean, though, this had, it would have been a different story. But, you know, it is what it is. Big smiles, big grins all round. If, again, I've said it on the mini, if you're not signed up for the last Neo, come on, guys. It is a laugh. It's brilliant. It's all affordable racing. I mean, I think it's still 12 12 quid 14 quid for the day it, it's pennies to come racing for a full day at, at ignition come on get booked in for the next one show some love and all the lads that were there for the first round why why have you why have you all not been racing again i don't i don't get it you all enjoyed it so get booked in again the more the merrier for the last round and uh yeah toodle pip